Hey guys, welcome to uh, Off Grid Ocean Life, my very first episode, and an intro into what I'm doing and what I plan on doing and where I plan on taking these videos too. Uh, right now, I am on my way to the Keys, well, Key West in particular, and I have been calmed, as you can see, and you can probably hear that annoying flapping of the sails behind me. Well, behind me. Uh, so, I figured this would be a perfect time to start these little videos because I'm in a dead zone, I have no cell service, and I'm alone with my thoughts out here. Right now, I'm pretty much drifting outside of a... I have no idea how good this camera is or not, but... I don't know if you can see, that is Naples. I was thinking of stopping down there, but... I guess there's like no wind at all for the next few hours. And I really didn't feel like using my motor to motor to six miles to get up there. That's how far away from shore I am right now. So, I'm just playing it by year and just kind of drift along the coast here. I'll tell you guys right now, I'm not good at cameras. I'm not even good at being on camera. So, we might have some awkward times together. But, I swear it'll all get better. Uh, give me some time. And uh, once I learn how to edit and stuff like that and I'm sure these videos will get great but at the beginning they will probably be a little bit rough so I bought this boat in uh, Bradenton Florida from a pretty good dude he showed me how to uh, sail and everything for the first time like I had no idea what I was doing when I stepped into these shoes here I'm just kind of living my dream and taking it one step at a time Finally got some wind. That's uh, the Everglades right there. I was becalmed for the last like three or four hours, just kind of sitting there, twiddling my thumbs. But sails going good now, I'm going uh, five knots, and uh, almost headed directly towards Key West. I'm gonna make a little bit more of a right turn here. I think the wind's supposed to start coming from a different direction. As soon as it starts coming in from uh, over there, I'll be able to tack over this way. But yeah. Finally got some speed. Hopefully I'll be at Key West in two days. What's up guys? Just giving you an update here. Well, not much of an update considering it's been like this most of the way but if you're wondering what's taking me so long this is day number four and it's been pretty much no wind for about three out of my four days sailing i've been doing this for like three or four months now just kind of sailing around florida um i gave up my entire old life sold everything that i had bought a boat and just pretty much plan on sailing around the world right now i'm coming from port charlotte and i'm on my way to key west uh, this is my fourth day now, and I should have already been there, but I, it's my fault. I didn't look to see if I had any wind. I looked to make sure there wasn't like a hurricane or something that was going to kill me. I have no trust fund, baby, or anything like that. I spent everything I had on this boat in this life. Uh, I started with 40, about $48,000 um, after I bought the boat, and I made it self-sufficient. I got six solar panels, uh, a big battery bank. A whole bunch of scuba stuff, spear fishing stuff. I turned the whole boat into a rain catch too. So it's self-sufficient, so I don't really need any money to live. I got a monthly phone bill. And other than that, I mean, maybe some gas here and there for the dinghy engine. And just to go out and, you know, do stuff. But other than that, I don't need money, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm living life out here. And the whole reason I started doing this stuff was because I was just kind of stuck in my comfort zone. Like... I was in a little bubble on that couch, man, and like I was living at home, I just didn't want to leave home no more, like it was getting bad, and I just kind of, I don't know, did a 180 and started, now I'm living life now, like this is the first time that I've actually been living in years, I've just kind of been surviving, and it's kind of sad, but I'm so glad I did it, there is, there is nothing better than what I'm doing, like it changed my life already, it's only been a few months. 
I wish I would have did it a long time ago, to be honest. Uh, just being out here, everything's like different. Everything's amplified, you could say. Like, all my goods are great, and all my bads are fucking horrible. Like, going through some storms, oh my god. <laughs> it, was, it was nuts going through. I went through two big storms already. A 75 mile an hour and a 45 mile well you guys go by knots probably but it was a uh, like a 60 knot and a 40 knot uh storm one of them was a hurricane it was right after uh hurricane ian and let me tell you man you don't know who you are until you go through something like that like it, it is nuts riley whitlam on uh sailing with vagabond he has no idea who i am but he is solely responsible for my inspiration that I needed to get this job done. I wanted to do it, but seeing him actually do it made me realize I could. And I'm hoping my videos can do the same for other people too. Like, it doesn't even have to be sailing a boat or anything like that. It could just be whatever, starting your dream job or getting an RV, traveling, seeing the world, doing, you can do whatever you want, man. So yeah, uh, I've only got about like six or $7,000 left. So I got some of it into crypto. Other than that, I mean, I'm hoping that I can get enough just to kind of get by. Other than that, man, that's all I need. I don't, I don't need much out here. That's a cool looking one right there. It's a different species. I think that's a black tip reef shark and the other ones are white tip maybe. I plan on like sailing around the world, um, starting off with just the west coast of Florida until I feel comfortable with a boat. I'm getting there, but I, I still got a ways to go. Uh, like I said, I'm brand new to all this. If you guys see me doing something stupid and whatever, let me know. I, I, I would like to learn, you know what I mean? I got thick skin, you ain't gonna hurt my feelings, just let me know. Uh... Hopefully I work out everything though and can get some kind of income coming in. I have no plans right now other than crypto, these videos, maybe I make a couple dollars. Metal detecting, maybe I make a couple dollars. And hunting lionfish, I know you can do that. It's only like $5 per pound of fish. It's not a lot, but like I said, I don't need much money. So doing these four little things, uh, hopefully add up to what I need. If not, next episode you see I might be flipping burgers somewhere. No, I ain't gonna do that. Dang, there's some more dolphins over there. Like, that's what I'm saying. Out here, it's constantly something going on. Like, I'm becalmed in the middle of nowhere. Where is it at? Oh, there's some more over there. They're circling me. They're on every side of me. Bunch of little dolphins. I should just throw my anchor down and go swim in here. But yeah, that beats the hell out of a fucking TV right there. Come on. I'd be sitting on my couch just flipping channels. Not no more. Look how much my boat is rocking, too. That's crazy. It doesn't rock that much during a storm. It's just because the uh, swells are so spread apart. And it like acts like a pendulum almost like as soon as my boat comes down the next one comes and it just kind of gradually builds up power like i am rocking like crazy right now oh look at that dolphins are on camera you guys saw that well apparently two days is my limit of sailing with no wind i finally turned the engines on gotta do something maybe it's just a dead patch i'm trying to i don't have any reception so i don't know where the wind's at i should probably get some kind of like satellite weather type deal or something but yeah i'm motoring for about an hour until i get out of here later uh doing another little update here well not really absolutely nothing's changed i'm still becalmed 
I do see it. Oh, there's a fish jumping. I do see a tiny bit of land out there. It's a uh, Key West. I motored for like, I don't know, 45 minutes or something like that. Just trying to get out of uh, maybe a dead patch I was in or something, but it's no dead patch. It's the ocean. The ocean is the dead patch. So uh, I'm kind of getting lucky though. And the current's actually pushing me into Key West. It's I'm only going like 0.5 knots, but I just pulled my anchor and I'm just kind of floating with uh, floating with the tides here. Got my sails down and everything. But yeah, I'll, I'll probably just hopefully just drift on in there by a couple hours here. Hey guys, I wanted to share this little mini panic attack I just had with you guys. So I was sailing, everything was going good. Well, I was sailing slow, it wasn't too great, but and all of a sudden I looked ahead of me and I saw these big patches of brown and I could have swore that it was like a beach. It looks exactly like a beach, like a hundred feet off. And I was like panicking, looking at my Navionics and my GPS and everything. Cause it wasn't on there. I didn't see no land on there. So I was kind of freaking out. thought I was about to run aground, but yeah, apparently it's a sargasm. I don't know though. I, it doesn't really look like it. It looks like pine needles to me, but I know there was supposed to be like big piles of that sargasm stuff supposed to be hitting Key West here soon so I assumed that's what it was but I don't know I can't look it up either because I still don't have no internet well if you guys are into this kind of stuff like scuba diving spear fishing adventuring underwater metal detecting just regular fishing just living on the ocean that kind of stuff stay tuned uh, things will get better once I learn what I'm doing um, these videos will start getting good. It's amazing out here though. Like I really wish you could see what I see. Even smell what I smell. Like just. Uh, you get. You're like so in tune with your senses out here. It's it's amazing. I uh. I'm in Key West. I finally made it. And I'm over here drinking uh, some wine. I was going to go to shore and actually get a drink at a bar. But I don't know if you guys can see that. They're supposed to be. Yeah. Whole bunch of rain i can see falling over there but yeah it's supposed to be thunderstorms and everything coming in so i'm just chilling on my boat getting drunk here hey guys i really hope you liked this episode um if you did go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button for me and if you really liked it you can come join me on patreon.com it'll really help me out and uh i'll be posting a bunch of videos and content that you can pretty much only see there Come check it out, and uh, I'll be posting a new video every Saturday, so uh, stay tuned.